Alright peeps, uh, Tales Black and Old Squat Box once again, and uh, this this fight in America, you know, the, the Republicans and the Democrats, and who's got a gun to his head, and who's the bully, and who's not willing to, you know, discuss who gets this or who gets that, you know, and I remember as a kid, you know, and, uh, you know, in the school playground, I seen bullies going around, taking, you know, crisps and, and apples and shit off people, you know, and any other pocket money they make upon, you know, just taking it, you know, force on you, know, give me that, you know, and, uh, you know, they come to me and then I say, fuck off, you know, you know, get my fucking crisps, and they try to take it off me and I'd fucking fight, and it would end up with a crisp being on the ground trampled, you know, one or two of us, we, we, you know, a bruised eye or whatever, but they never got my crisps and they eventually stopped <laughs> coming up to me and asking because of you know, they never got the crisps and they got a sore face, you know. And uh, eventually, a lot of people had seen them take them eventually we gravitated towards each other and I told them the same simple fact. If you're just going to give them it because you're scared, they're going to keep coming back and taking it. Eventually you've got to stand up, even if you get a bloody nose or a sore face, you know. You've got to waste it on the ground, you know what I mean, and fight back. And if you don't, they'll just keep coming back. Because what you're doing is, is you're reinforcing their, their idea that they can take what they want. But when they understand they're not going to get it, and they're going to get a sore face as well, they stop. And this is what's going on with the Republicans. They've been punching the fucking Obama administration in the face for fucking three or four or five years. And Obama has been taking it and giving them what they want. And even now, Obama gave them what they want. They gave them their fucking CR limit. They gave them concessions. And then they said, I want more. I don't just want your pocket money. I don't just want your crisps or your apple. I want your fucking sneakers and I want your watch your mum gave you for your birthday, you know what I mean? I want that hat your dad gave you as well, that you got off, you know, signed off a base baseball fucking, you know, hero, you know? That, you, you've got to reach somewhere where you say, fuck this, I've had enough. I've fucking had enough, you know? You've got to turn around to the door and say, fuck you. You're going to stomp me, stomp me, I'll stomp you back. You gotta try and take my fucking crisps, I will stamp them into the gun and crush them and kick them all over the fucking ground so you can't eat them. They're not getting any more. Scotch death? Fucking right, Scotch death. You get nothing. Nothing. And that's the only way to deal with a bully. Because eventually when he realises he's not getting what he wants, he can go and cry in a fucking corner, you know what I mean? Boo hoo. You didn't get what you wanted. Tough shit, you know? But at least after they realised that, he stopped being a bully. The GOP has bullied America long enough. It's time for America to stand up for itself and turn around and say, No, you've had your fucking, you know, your rampage. It's over. It's fucking over. We've got to start working at the world as a better place than the shit you're going to drag us into, you know what I mean? And all those people in America who supposedly support the GOP, I think it's worth 29% of the country, and that's not certain, could be less, 22%, 19% I've heard, you know? Uh, yeah. Is the rest of the country going to sit back and be cowards and sheep and be scared of the bully? Or are you going to gang up on the bully and tell the bully to fuck off? That's where you're at in America. You're at the stage of playground kids who have been bullied for years, suddenly realising, do you know what? I'm not the fucking eight year old kid the bullied now, I'm fucking 12, I'm 13, I'm 14. I've built muscles myself, I've grown, I've got stronger. And I'm going to fight the bully. Next time he comes around and asks me for money, I'm going to say, no, give me your fucking money, you prick. And punch him in the fucking face. That's what I'm going to fucking do. And if Ibdi did it, 
that 29%, that 22%, that 19% would sit down in the corner and cry their fucking eyes out. I want to see the Boehners and the Tea Partiers in fucking America cry their eyes out, boo-hoo, and fucking accept the shit that they're fucking dealt, you know what I mean? Accept the poker hand you're dealt, motherfucker. Stop trying to change the rules. Stop shifting the fucking goalposts. Accept democracy and shut the fuck up. That's democracy. Majority rules. Not the minority of some stupid majority that doesn't exist. Majority rules. The 87% of Americans in, you know, in America who, who want health care. The 87% of Americans who want the Republicans to stop this stupid, fucktarded crisis after crisis that they make up. Stop listening to the fucktarded crazy shit that you hear on fucking right-wing TV, uh, religious fucking broadcasts and Fox News. Because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's only going to lead you down the road of eventually people standing up and punching you in the fucking nose. And I hope the American people will do that now. Because this is crunch time. You know what I mean? The playbell has rung, you're out in the playground now, there's no adults around, and it's just use kids together. And the kids that have been bullied need to stand up to the bullies and punch them back. Kick them in the balls, punch them in the face, and dip their pocket. Take all the shit back off them they took off you. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of different analogies in there, but there's two. That's what you need to fucking do, man. If you're going to stand up in the world and be that great nation you were before, you need to tell the school bully to sit in his ass and fuck off, you know what I mean? Go away. And by the way, before you go away, give me all that shit you took off me. Give me all that crap in your pocket that's mine, you prick. That's what you've got to do. I want to see a, a progressive America becoming part of the Western nations who feel that social capitalism is the way to go for the moment. We had capitalism, didn't work. We need to alleviate the pains that capitalism brought us by bringing in social capitalism. It's going to be a struggle, there's going to be pains, growing pains you could say, that we have to go through as, as countries, you know, as nations. But that's where we are. I'd like to say Swan Jogar, but my glass is empty. Anyway.